How to draft and render a flow plan in just under 10 minutes with Rayon. Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a three part series where we see how to draw flow plans, sections and elevations and also architectural details with the software called Rayon. Today we'll be focusing on the flow plans. We've already made a video on how to get started with Rayon and we also covered the basics of the software. So make sure to check that out as well. I'm Salman, an architect and illustrator. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification. So let's get started. For this example, we'll be using the NA house designed by So Fujimoto Architects. Here are some images of this interesting project. We also have a flow plan which we can use as a base. To begin with, you need to head over to rayon.design and the link is provided in the description of this video. Click this button to start using Rayon for free. We'll have to sign in by creating an account or by using our Google account. Once we sign in, we'll see the files that we used and also some tutorials. Click the import button on top and select the image of the flow plan that we downloaded. This will open a dialog box to set the scale of the drawing. We already have a unit on the drawing, so we can use that to set the scale of this model. Once done, click import. Click open model to open the drawing. The image is now open in a model. And before starting to draft, let's head over to menu, preferences, and make sure we have all the necessary settings here. The length unit is in meters and the area unit is in square meters. You can also check if all the snapping options are turned on. The first thing that we'll have to do is to reduce the opacity of the plan image that we imported. Click the image and head over to this fill option on the right side. Inside the image tab, this will open the opacity option. Reduce the opacity to around 45 or 50 percentage. Let's now head over to the layers tab on the top left. Create a new layer and rename it as walls. Use the shortcut W or the wall icon on the bottom tab and you can start drawing the walls. It's completely fine if you want to change the look of the walls because Rayon allows a great level of flexibility and will be able to customize these walls at any time. Let's start drawing the thicker walls along the boundary of the building. You can also change the alignment of the walls if you want to keep it as center aligned or left or right aligned. Let's select the bottom walls and we'll be able to change the thickness of these walls from the options tab on the right side. Let's change the thickness to 0.05. We have now drafted all the major exterior walls, so let's start customizing them according to our preference. I've created a color palette here and I'll be using variations of this color palette in this drawing. To start applying these, let's select all the walls that we created. Choose the fill option which is currently in solid. Inside this, we can use the color picker to pick the shade of color that we created. This will instantly change all the colors of the walls in the drawing. Let's start adding the columns inside using the rectangle tool. Choose the rectangle tool and click on the drawing. This will ask for the width and height of the rectangle. Type in the dimensions and click OK and a rectangle is created. We can copy the rectangle or any element in the drawing by holding down ALT and dragging the element. This is a really quick way to fasten your drafting workflow. Let's arrange the columns based on the drawing. Let's begin drawing the lines in the flow plan. For this, we can use the line command, shortcut L. Let's draw the staircase in the floor plan using the similar method of rectangles and lines. To increase the thickness of the lines, we can select the line and use the stroke option on the right side. Let's again use the rectangle tool to draw the cabinets in the kitchens. The central kitchen counter can have some rounded rectangles along the edges. For this, we can use the fillet command. Choose the command line on the bottom and type in fillet. Select the two edges of the rectangle, type in the radius and this will give the fillet option. With that, we have all the basic walls and lines in the floor plan. Head over to libraries and search for doors. Rayon has an extensive library of doors and windows, which are fully customizable, and we can simply drag and drop them into the drawing. Let's select a few sliding doors and windows to be used in this drawing. The library also specifies the dimensions of the doors and windows. Once we've chosen the elements, let's select them and adjust their styles. We can do that by going to the Styles tab and changing the colors of the border and fill as necessary. We can then simply drag the door 
and window elements into the walls and this will fit into the wall component easily. Let's create a new layer and rename them as zones. We can use the zone or the zone divider option on the bottom to specify the different areas on the floor plan. The zone option can be used in some parts of the floor plan where there are enclosures and for the other areas we might have to draw them manually using the zone separator. Let's track the zone layers below the wall layers. I've also created a new furniture layer and added the tables inside them. Let's now add a base color to the zones that we created. Select a zone and choose the solid option on the right side. Use the color picker to pick a shade of color from the palette. We can adjust the opacity of the shade so that it goes well with the entire drawing. Once done, let's select the zones, copy them and place them exactly on top. Let's add some hatches on this copied layer. This works a similar way. Instead of the solid copy, we'll have to head over to the next tab, which is hatches. Rayon again has a variety of hatches to choose from. And all these hatches here are fully customizable. Let's choose the hatch style, change the rotation and opacity. Let's also change the hatch style in the kitchen and the terrace to create a variation. I'm using the polygon tool to add a solid white fill below the staircase. Let's now rename the zones by double clicking them. We also have the flexibility to adjust the font color, font style and more. Head over to the libraries and personally this is my favorite part of using rayon design. Let's start searching for different furniture components and add them into the drawing. Let's start with the kitchen components of stove and sink and we can also customize them by heading over to the styles command. Let's add some chairs to the dining room and one aspect to keep in mind is to always have some kind of imperfection in the floor plan and that can be done by arranging the furniture in a not so uniform fashion. This will create some interest in the drawing. Let's add a shelf in the living room and stretch it to fit into the scale. The living area can have a two-seater sofa and a carpet below it. Rayon offers a great level of customization and we can also change the look of the carpet to fit with the overall look. Let's add some smaller elements like coffee cups, plates or small indoor plants on the table. We can use dotted lines and arrows to indicate the direction of the staircase. Let's create a new layer for annotations, head over to the library and search for tags. We have a variety of indication marks to choose inside the tags. Let's pick this one to indicate the different levels on the floor plan. Once again, these tags are customizable as well. So let's change the colors to match with the palette. Use the text command on the bottom tab to add levels above the tag. Let's change the fonts and colors and make them into a group. Now all we have to do is to copy this group at different parts of the floor plan, right click and edit them to change the levels at different places. Let's also create a new layer and this can act as the background. We'll simply use the rectangle tool to create a background and use a very light shade from the color palette. Let's begin adding human figures on the floor plan on a new layer. Inside the library, search for person and you have a variety of human figures to choose from. Let's pick a handful of human figures, animals like dogs or cats to populate the scene. Once you're happy with the positions of the human figures, we can select all of them and change the outlines and borders to match with the color palette. Similarly, let's start adding vegetation to the floor plan. We have terraces where we can fill them with plants 
in different sizes and variety. Let's try altering the angles of the vegetation to create an interest. Once you place them, we can change the color and outline just like how we did previously. Finally, let's add dimensions to the flow plan. The dimension tool is located on the bottom and once you click that, you can customize the text font, sizes and the style of arrows in the dimension. Make your selection and you're free to add these dimensions in the flow plan. Let's use the text option to add the title of the flow plan, the architect's name and location. We also have north point symbols inside the library, so let's add that along as well. Let's add a title block from the library. We can drag them into the drawing and resize them. We can edit the title details and scale in this title block. We'll now have to create a page from the page option on the left side. Click that to add a page. We'll now have to change the format and scale to fit in with the drawing. For this example, let's choose an A3 size and change the scale as 1 is to 50. Once you're happy with that, you can choose the three dots and you can save this as a PDF or a PNG image. And here is the final drawing. Make sure to check the link in the description and you can download this drawing template completely for free. Hit the like button if you found this video to be helpful. You can follow me on Instagram and the handle is right here. I'll see you on the next one.